Charles Barbin, um, I'm residing in Brigantine right now. I've done a lot of murals in Atlantic City. Uh, this is my Close Encounters Jellyfish mural. I did it in 2018. I think it was the second year of the 48 Blocks project. Very proud to be a part of. Um, I have a uh, recently acquired a gallery in Brigantine, New Jersey. So showing a lot of local artists. Uh, as well as, as, as myself and um, have uh, been doing many other murals in the city as well and uh, you know looking forward to the next project. I've been uh, doing art for as long as I can remember. Um, my you know my parents were very supportive of me throughout my life and you know I was very fortunate to you know be able to, to pursue pursue the dream I guess you could say and yeah the um, I've explored many styles, uh, you know, throughout my life. I went to, to college at, at Tyler School of Art. Really got to know a lot of different artists and a lot of different teachers that were, you know, highly influential. Um, so I've kind of considered myself an abstract expressionist as far as, you know, using different mediums and trying to apply paint in as many different ways as, as, as I can. Uh, most recently, I've, I've kind of been incorporating more representational objects and um, you know just recognizable imagery I guess you could say in, into these these what I still consider somewhat abstract pieces of art um, whether it's the large scale or the, the pieces I do in the studio yeah the jellyfish mural um, it was you know I was I was attracted to, to that 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 theme that imagery uh, for the fact that it's something like sometimes people kind of detest and are, are somewhat afraid to, to go near. So the goal was to have this, this massive presence of this, you know, this imagery that you're usually repelled by or, or try and keep your distance from. But the goal here was to, to make it in a way where it's, it's, it's beautiful and it's elegant and it, it kind of draws you in and wants you to come up and look at it instead of your normal reaction to like such a school of jellyfish would be to go in the opposite direction but the goal here is to, to pull you in and um, you know experience experience it up close and personal and the presence I think the the scale uh, has such a presence that um, you know it, it, it makes you uh, makes you feel small but you know at the same time you, you know it's kind of exhilar exhilarating to be in the presence of these you know these creatures well, I think, uh, you know, just obviously beautifying communities, um, you know, block by block is, is huge. And just the, uh, the community response, it has been amazing. You know, it's, it's so supportive, the, the, you know, the, the, the people that come across that you probably never talk to on the street, um, you know, come up to a mural and you, you begin a conversation. And it, it's, it's amazing things you talk about. You know, you obviously talk about art, but then it leads to other things. And you get to know about the city, you get to know about people. And I, I think that's just a great start to, you know, uh, artists being uh, a way to, to just make interaction possible within uh, different communities and neighborhoods in AC. I guess I see the future of art in Atlantic City uh, just c continuously growing. You know, the, um, the, the, the commission and the foundation and just people that are, are, are funding the arts, you know, uh, just have been really, you know, just stepping it up as, as far as, uh, you know, just supporting very different styles, very many different artists and having um, plenty of projects that are, you know, available to, to lots of people to apply for and then, you know, just kind of uh, spread their wings a bit and, and you know, be able to, to kind of paint larger than they may have never before. And, uh, you know, the, the reaction's been great. So, they, you know, that this can lead to possibly have, you know, getting funding to renovate old warehouses, you know, abandoned places in, in the city that, you know, need, you know, was wanting a revitalization, I think. And, uh, you know, the artists, I think, can be a huge part of that, you know.